In this episode of running the entire length of Africa, we experience our first taste of luxury. What? I get mugged off. Yeah, you rang the actual guns. <laughs> we discuss combat tactics. Grab the pistol like this. And my illness gets dire. My nice body's just eating itself. Hello, Russ. How are you? Another one of them. Nice. Not having much luck at the minute, are you? Nah. So what's wrong today? Shit myself about four times throughout the night. Well, not actually shit myself. Oh yeah, but like, I didn't realise it was that bad. Do you still want to do 20 KMs, or do you want a bit less? Have you boys got things to do? I've got to edit. That's it. Maybe do 15 then, if you like, don't mind, boys. Yeah, of course. I don't think I'm going to be sick. No, I I've just got the shit. So. You got baby wipes, lad. Yeah. Not really any cover here, is there? Not much, mate. Behind the tree. Good luck, lads. I hope you're all right, man. At least he didn't leave the shovel lying about. He didn't use the shovel either, so. No. It's uh. Oh, poor bloke. Fresh and ready to ruin someone's day. Poor lad. Poor lad. Oh ah, well, not our problem. What do you think, Nessie? Uh, strong? Yeah, strong. That's a strong man. The last man. Oof. Are you going to run today? Yeah, to today's yes, what? When, when are you going to run? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, we're crossing. Yeah. Ay. <laughs> uh, uh. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. My first 17 kilometers were the slowest of the trip so far. My bowels felt like a broken washing machine and reduced me to walking half, running half. The stop couldn't come soon enough. How are you doing? Are you pooped yourself again yet? Not really, but I've not been feeling quite right, which I know doesn't yeah. sound great, but um, just a little bit. How are you feeling, Stan? Fine. Yeah. I should keep it northern, man. man. We need that northern blood, mm. bruv. Iron sh pipe this, lad. This is super niche, so I'm not sure how much the audience is. It's quite niche. But if you're, uh, if you're a Sussex boy, you know who Glenn Murray is. What happened with Glenn Murray? Hey, he just sent me a message saying that That's he let you race what I'm doing. I'm sending all the support. Yeah, it's pretty cool because of me and my dad and my granddad used to go watch Brighton play and uh, watch that geezer bang goal score. Can't. He knew how to finish, do you know what I mean? Clinical. Right. What didn't have what didn't and have you can't pace. even finish your lunch. <laughs> yeah, literally, I literally can't. <laughs> Ready to brave it again. Yeah. Mate, You're getting food down, which is good. Yeah, I, I mean, it's down for a bit. Other than that, I ain't really got much else to say other than that, to be fair. Standard risk. <laughs> yeah. Seen any cool wildlife today? Saw Pumbaa and his boys. Yeah? On a tear nice. up, yeah. Was he stomping tarmac as well? But yeah, he was on ones, twos, threes and fours. It'd be weird if he was just on ones and twos. Yeah, well. exactly. He's a threes and fours kind of man, which I respect. He's got stopped a couple times for photos. Said, best not shake hands today, lads, because pooing everywhere. Is Took that what photos. you said? Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right now my digestive system because we've got some like Imodium things which is just kind of blocking the dam but like, there's all kind of carnage going on here feels like it could just like nuclear bomb at any time well, it might propel you forward if you lean in the right that's direction that's true so could that's you an use advantage. That to your advantage yeah that's actually a strong advantage. There you go. Science, hashtag science again. Hashtag science. I'm doing a lot of walking. I'm doing like, because basically I really don't want to do it, so I'm just trying to break it down to as tiny this, of chunks as possible. 300 meters of running, 200 meters of walking, so it took me like two and a bit hours to do 17K, 16 and a half K. Could be worse. Not great. Well, do you know what will help you get faster? Just get on road. Get on road. Yeah, that's true. All right, see you later. In a bit. Good luck. Another 15 kilometers and I was feeling even rougher. Being ill for a second time, I was already depleted of all energy. Every single step was a struggle. How are you feeling about today real quick, like 10 second rundown? 10 second rundown, feel shit, don't want to do it, doing it anyway, here we are. How many more k's are you doing now? Minimum I can do to get a marathon in. I've got food in my system, but it's just like, it's just here. It's not like soaking in like when my poos yeah my poos just look like poo that's not right nah because so my body's just like nah rejecting it. It, that's yeah. not good i'd speak to someone with medical knowledge to be fair and just see if that like rings any obvious alarm bells for stuff because if you've got if you've well got... i think what we should do is we should go and see which doctor oh cool 
Yeah, I'm up for that. It's about 45, you reckon? Yeah. Sweet, we'll be there. Mate, these bogeys are really doing my nutting right now. Okay, back. Cool, see you in a bit, lads. Even though it was only 10 kilometers, the final leg finished me off. I wasn't as ill as the first time, but my willpower was fading, and it was the lowest I'd felt so far. Tough day out there today, lad. Yeah. What's the recovery plan? I ain't really got one, bruv. It's just really frustrating because the, the mileage ain't really where it needs to be. One of those things where you need to go easy on yourself enough for a couple of days so that you can get back to doing the big mileage, but it's hard to know where that balance is like. Nice My campfire. body's just eating itself, man. No, I can feel it just eating away at itself. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to give right now. That's the trouble. Run out of diesel, mate. I collapsed into my seat and we drove to a nearby campsite for signal, a hot shower and sleep. The next morning, we were visited by a friend. Nice. Oh, you got him interested now. Basically, just like a big colourful dog, isn't it? Mate, look at the head movement on it. It moves like a 2008 R Chavez, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Bit slow, are you? I reckon I could drop kick that thing so far. Mate. At least 20 meters. Oh, more, I'm sure. Because it would do a bit of flapping on the way, which would extend yeah. your distance. Mate, in fairness, it actually is a beautiful one. But look at that blue, man. Deep blue. How's life? Oh, that ain't bad, really, is it? Hopefully, today's going to be a better day. I feel a bit better. Yeah, you look a bit better, I can't lie. Yeah. You look less scorned somehow. Yeah, which is interesting because I didn't really eat much food. But no. I don't feel like I'm going to poo myself immediately, which is good. Yeah. But there's less headwind, it looks like, which helps. What can you do, lade? You know Just what keep, I mean? keep on stomping, I guess. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe get some more f vitamins in your diet. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, famously. And even if I was, you wouldn't listen to me, so. This is true. I am a witch doctor, though. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Don't believe that. Right, well, I'm also not a coach, but you believe that. <laughs> yo, yo. When you're shitting yourself mm. all the way through a run, how the f you actually just not stop and have a cry? I actually did feel like it a bit yesterday. You seemed like less driven, weirdly, through this than you were the first time you were ill. And you were much, much, much iller then. Yeah. I think I'm um, like it's consecutive beatdowns. Yeah. And I didn't actually recover. I haven't probably recovered from that. Getting beaten up and then like uh, going to hospital. Yeah. And then yeah. the doctor punched you in the face. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh wow, that's really taken out of me that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was one of the first days where I was like, there is no reserves left here. Best of luck, lads. Well, I'll see you in 20k, yeah? 20k. Somehow, despite still not being able to eat much, I was feeling a bit better this morning and managed to keep running for 20 kilometers. I was far from my best, but it felt like I was on the way. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Was good, was good, was good, was good. Yo, better day. Better day, yeah, yeah. Nice, man. Um, He's got you some snacks ready and Stan's whipping up a protein shake as we speak, like. Thank you. Just get him as fed up as we possibly can. <laughs> well, a bit of good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. What do you reckon? What you needed? Yeah. Well, anything that stays, stays in my body is good. Right now. The KMs were flying off a lot faster than yesterday. Yesterday was like dog sh like really, battling. really, 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 like every single battling for every meter. But today's been a bit easier. That's a hell of a day, lad. I got stopped by a group of people who were uh, they were on safari or something. Oh, so you're part of the safari drive now? Yeah, yeah. Because I've scared all the lions away, they have to come and find the real apex now. That makes sense, mate. What would we actually do if we got robbed? Because obviously the other day we knew, like, a couple of boys pull up with a gun and that. And I'm thinking, what is the actual strat? The strat is we pretend to give them everything, but we don't. I feel like that is the realistic strat, but in, in my head it's not very exciting to think about that. So I try to, I like to think about like the Superman strap. Slap the bullets out of the air. Just like nut him straight in the face, pinch his gun off him. Well, it's just a better story, isn't it, really? It's a way better story. What do you reckon, Stan? The one of the things that's important. So John Wick is here, you know, with us. Or yeah, John yeah. Wick, but less vengeance than John Wick because no one's killed your dog. So let's go with Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no one killed my parents either and left me as stranded orphan. Superman? Well, I don't know his backstory, so it must it's be just one. like Alien, innit? Oh, okay. What about Spider-Man? Spider-Man. 
didn't get bit by a radioactive spider. Fancied bird, tried to pull her but couldn't. Uncle died. Spider-Man and pull her. Is that how it went? <laughs> That's really cute. I just tried, <laughs> tried to pull a bird. Your hair, is tried it? to pull a bird, couldn't pull her, became hardest geezer, then pulled the girl. Yeah, all right, Spider-Man it is. Spider-Man. So I'm going to throw a situation at you. Yeah, yeah, go And you've got to react to it real time, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We fucked up, you're running at night. You're like 3k off the van. Yeah, yeah. Out of the bushes. Yeah. There are three guys. Three. One of them has a gun. One. Pistol. Only one. Pistol. Two of them have baseball bats. Okay. The guy with the pistol is on your left. Yeah, yeah. And then the two guys with baseball bats are sort of grouped together. Yeah. Maybe five meters away from you. Okay. Sort of at two o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Watch the strap. You're, you're massively overpowered weapon-wise, so what we want to do is we want to try and get them into a conversation. Okay. I'm immediately giving it thumbs up. I'm going, yes, boys. Yes, boys, what we say. And then I'm assuming they're on crud. Baseball bats comes out <laughs> middle of the night. I'm assuming they're incredible. No, they might be friendly. They <laughs> might be. No comprende espanol. Si, senor. <laughs> uh, this is after you've said all right. <laughs> you right, boys? Here, here's the rest of the situation. Yeah, yeah. He's with the gun goes, Hola, senor. <laughs> Como vas el día de hoy? Estoy aquí para robarte, pendejo. This is all crap. Here's what you should do. Bum. Okay. Guy's pointing his gun at me, obviously. They're, they're like, oh, give us everything you've got. And I'm like, mate, I can't. My friends are just up the road. Can you see? They turn around, quick as a whip. I duck backwards and round Whoa, to avoid any potential. There, to wait, 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 give us that motion again. The, the line of the pistol here, he's looking that way, but the pistol's pointing this way. Yeah, so yeah. just in case I'm going like this, right hand, grab the pistol like this. Grab the back of his head. Yeah, yeah, give yeah, him a kiss. And then give him a little, give him a little kiss. <laughs> that was really disarming. <laughs> he definitely won't fing kill you then, lad. <laughs> Straight onto the knee, twist him round. Mm -hmm. His hands have now loosened their grip enough because he's unconscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, for me to grab the just pistol. One bang him viciously. Bang, bang. I get my plasters out, patch them up. Oh, yeah, that's famously stops people just bleeding. Just carry on running. Plaster. Yeah, Easy. okay. Are you feeling a bit stronger today? Yeah, I'm you definitely do see feeling a bit better. Definitely not 100, but I'm at least 70. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I was about 20 cool. yesterday. I just feel like a f***ing itchy dog right now. That's all right. Some people find them cute. Would you describe yourself as cute, Russ? No. I'm kind of cute in the way that like a f***ing homeless dog's a bit cute. Do you know what I, mean? <laughs> I do see it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll see ya. Come on, man. In another 20k or so. Sounds good. Yeah. Meet you there. Look at those ones and twos. Ferocious, etc. They maybe weren't quite ferocious yet, but I was definitely stomping, and the poo supply had been cut off. The only problem was the brutal wind. That headwind. Brutal. Suck like. a dick. It's a shame because if it weren't for the wind, it'd literally be like a perfect day for it. Mate, it would actually would be as well. We're always thinking 55 today. Hopefully, yeah. I'm on 39 points, I think, now. Probably stay in a, in a little while. Yeah. I don't know entirely, I don't know what we're doing tonight, but we've got a lodge paid for, uh, for free. Unreal. Breakfast and dinner. Oh, sh unreal. Yeah, for two nights, tomorrow night and the following night. Probably we get the visas, Angola visas tomorrow, and we off the winged hook, and we go early, 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 early doors. Or tonight. Oh, that sounds grim, man. Yeah. Do we, I have to be there? We'll be for DRC, lad. Shit. It's about two hours drive from here. We're gonna have to go back there again as well, aren't we? To pick it up. You won't necessarily have to, though. We can get some drive to us, maybe. We? Yeah. But let's just say Angola Visa come here tonight. We bounce this evening all the way back to Winter, ball up, get our passports back, print out Angola knee visas. Ball into the DRC, spit mad game in French. Yeah, yeah. Chat so I, If I get about my common tapo two again, that will work. That's it, mate. The common yeah, tapo yeah. two. Oh, I want to get the French translator up, but it's not working. I think I should just spit like some, just the Rico glaze this verse in French. Remember, ladies and gents, if you want to speak uh, French like Russ, link in the description. Yes. That supports the mission, and you boys and girls get a great deal. Vamos is like uh, so, yeah, this is French. In Spanish, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So like, you can see vamos, the vamos in French is allons-y. 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 Allons if you're like me and you can't speak French, the next best alternative is to speak English with a French accent. Hello. So, de, 
I don't know who that was. And to do this all day long, I like to run in the sun in Africa. We go to the, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Oh, we love it. Cool, I'll go until it's until there's no light. See the bit, mate. I managed to get on another 15 kilometers before the sun fell. The first good mileage in days. Meanwhile, the boys received some welcome news. So while um, Stan was tucking in to some lovely meat flavoured cheese and bread. Delicious, I love it. Does it get any better than that? Yes, it does. Why? Good news. Mm. Harry was up till 3am last night putting together our Angolan visas and they've just come through, which is good news. So basically tomorrow is the first day that we can get our Republic of Congo visas, we can pick them up. Um, and we need our Angola visas as well to then go to the Democratic Republic of Congo who are very needy and need us to have both of those visas in order to apply for that. Um, oh, f I was, I was, I was I had a nap for like two hours. I had phew, words. Sorry, forgive him, he's not quite woken up yet. <laughs> the brain, you can no, see no, the gears no, turning. Hang on, I need a bit more cheese. It's just, we'll put a loading bar. We'll just put a loading bar next to your head. Mm. I feel better now. There we go. See, so yeah, really good news. We can go tonight to Vintook, get that sorted, and hopefully, if we get it sorted quick enough, we can get Russ back to the start line for him to do some running and not have a rest day. That's the plan. That's the plan. Hello, Russ. <laughs> what are you doing? Checking my emails. Why? To see if we've got an email from Embassy. And we do. Visa Angola. Your application with reference number, send me blah 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 blah. It's authorised. And E visa is attached with this email. Amazing. That's f***ing great. Have a look. Yeah. Right. Bang. Bang. We drive the two and a half hours to Windhoek and settle down in a cheap accommodation to prepare for a long day ahead. What a day. Already. Yeah. Got lots of running done though today, haven't you, at least? The clock ain't even got one single step in yet. Done. We got visas for Angola, Republic of Congo, and hopefully DRC yet to be confirmed. Would you describe the form? Interesting. The worst form I've ever seen in my entire life. Doesn't make any sense. Whoever wrote it needs to be sacked. Straight up. We yeah. spoke to the, the moodiest woman alive. Yes, um, you charmed I, her around though. I, I char how did I charm her, do we think? Uh, you told her she had a beautiful voice <coughs> and bought some chocolate. And I also told her I liked her president. Because he um, called Macron a or something. Yeah. We got keys cut because we've only got one key. We left Harry in Windhoek to sort out final bits and pieces. Yeah, we were just like, we can't be bothered with this, let's fuck <laughs> We made our way to the start line, which was a two and a half hour drive. Got stopped by the police because the guy didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah, he said basically give phone. me 500 or I'll take you to the police station, you pay 1500. So I think he was just trying to pull a fast one on us. I think eventually he just came around to the idea that we actually had all of our documents and he was... Which we did. Yeah. And now it's 4 p.m. and I'm about to get on the road for until sunset, which is at about quarter past six. Cool. Sweet. But hey, at least it's not a rest day. Could have been. It's not a rest day. Could have been. Go on, jog on. I took out all my visa frustration on the tarmac, violently destroying the roads with my stomping. Asphalt flew everywhere, destruction following every one and two. Nothing could stop me except one thing the sun. Welcome back. Yo, yo. How far did you go in the end? 22? Yeah, just about, nearly 22. So Wait, it's, it's forward movement. Forward movement at all costs. That evening, we'd been offered a free lodge to stay in and it was all our dreams come true. All right, mate. Thoughts, boys? <laughs> um, I mean, if I just tell you one thing, they put leaves on the bed. Uh, What's that all about? Really? It kind of tells you everything you need to know about this place. There's also some kind of thing hanging on the top of the bed. What I don't know what that's called, but I recognise it from like. It's uh, like four like poster. Downton Abbey and shit. Went into the restaurant. They greeted me with a cup of uh, mint and lemon homemade juice. Yeah, and it was in like a kind of goblet. Tasted from like Indiana Jones. Nessie thoughts. 
Ó. Oh. Esse chapa, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. We walked into the restaurant, everyone looked at us like, yeah, they really fucking <laughs> hey, yeah, they scrubbed it, mate. <laughs> Fair, because like, look at the state of me, Charlie. <laughs> if I paid whatever it costs to stay here per night, I'd be Some like, mouthy southern English bloke walks in, going, I do, everyone. What? This place looks well lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should we go and eat our Let's free three course meal? Yeah. <laughs> It's not a very elegant process, but... Deep squat. Please don't sh**. Speaking of sh**, how are you feeling this morning? Yeah, I feel alright. I'm really tired, man. What's in the bag today? Baby wipes. Strong. Bottle of water. Mm-hmm. Uh, pepper spray. And that's it. What, what more do you need? Extras, C's and 20k. Straight 20K. down the B1, yeah? Straight down the B1, keep going. Alright, sweet. See you later, mate. See ya. My first 20k felt much better after yesterday's slow day and I flew along. My morale was boosted even more when I was joined by Adam, a bodybuilder and YouTuber travelling Namibia. I was just saying I had a solid sh** this morning for the nice, first time in a while. Nice. I actually took a photo because I was so impressed. <laughs> Did you actually? Nah, do you want to see it? Not really. Uh, I know it's a bit weird to be that guy showing a photo. <laughs> nah, not at all mate, bring it. Love it. Nice. nice, excellent. That's that a good one solid. as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd be shouting <laughs> about that. I'd be shouting yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me who you are. Hello everyone, my name's Adam. I'm an adventurer and I decided to come out and give a bit of moral support to Ross today. Hey. Bring the actual guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on the day, mate? You're feeling a lot better now. Feeling much better today. I showed the boys my um, my poo this morning. It was, <laughs> I mean, boys describe it. Yeah, if I was Russ, I don't blame him for shouting about it, to be honest, I'll be proud of that one. How long after meeting Russ did he show you a picture of his own poo? I think, well, he told me about it within the first 60 seconds, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> Is this how you normally socialise? Uh, I'm a bit feral right now, so it's kind of everything, all the all the normal boundaries around what I would normally do are just... You say that, but you spoke about poo within about five minutes of me meeting you. Uh, you've just exposed it. <laughs> yeah, uh, good luck. Let's do it, boys. Let's go. <coughs> bang, bang. Adam and I pushed through another 20K. I'd really forgotten how much having someone to run with me helped to keep me sane and pull me through. Woo! Yeehaw! Come on! All right, boys. How did you find that? Well... 20k in the desert, 20k in the desert, innit? Yeah. I took a 5k break, so I did like 15, 16 and stuff. Smart, smart. But good fun, good chats as well. Good. I'm glad I'm done. Yeah. I don't fancy another 13,000k then. <laughs> not, not, not in a hurry, no. <laughs> did that electric vehicle stop and say hi? Yeah, yeah. mate, yeah. it was sick. Isn't it cool? Did they did they stop and say to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, we had a chat for about mate. half an hour. Oh, They're mate. amazing people. They were cool. Did you see the solars? Yeah. Bro. Man. 60 square meters of solar. They charge yeah. the entire engine off it. Yeah. yeah. Matt, I've never seen that before. They're I didn't know that was all, They pull the solar away yeah. out and they just lay it out on the ground and charge That's it over. Cool. Like, They'll charge leave it a day. day and it'll charge him like 250 miles. That's amazing. Yeah, that is actually sustainable. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. That is like actually sustainable. Yeah, it's really cool. They're taking the exact same route as us, Sands, Mauritania, Algeria. Yeah. They said, that, they said to me the only time they've ever had, felt a little bit touch and go was in Nigeria. Shout to anyone claims to, to know about these countries and they'll say, oh, it's too dangerous, you can't do yeah, it. And you yeah. chat to anyone, anyone at all, who's actually done it. Yeah. And they're like, nah, it's chill. Yeah. Everyone's lovely. Do you know what makes us more vulnerable is that we we can't change pace when things get dicey. Yeah, true. Welcome back, Harry. Cheers, all good. Mate. Yeah, all good. Yeah. Everything yeah. worked out. Amazing. Success. Love to see it. A little bit of uh, bribery and corruption. A little, little bit of money under the table, but we got the visas done in one day. What gift did you get the lady? Fucking... 50 quid, man, mate, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She sent me a message, she's like, oh, you know, the visas can uh, get done today if you bring me a putty cadeau, a little gift. And I was like, oh, do you want to specify? And she was like, bring me money. <laughs> Straightforward. <laughs> so that's done. It's done. Um, we'll I spent the night with Ellie and Yanaman. I'll tell you what did happen that was bad, is that a newer truck went past, sprayed me with a load of <laughs> Actually? Yeah, yeah, we stopped and, uh, I sanitise my mouth and my face and my arms, but like, I'll have to have a f like. I should have changed clothes already, but I don't have any clothes to change into, to be honest. Anyway, bang bang. Okay, yeah. See you, mate. Okay. Ooh, he's so quick, mate. I ran my final 20k as the sun set, manure flying off me as I did. Right. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. How far did you go? Oh, Back. Day, lad. Boy. Okay, Harry. 
You're about to find out what you've been missing out on. You ready? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you, Alf. Thank you, Gondwana. Um, yes. <laughs> That's my reaction too. What? 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 <laughs> Here's our room. Sorry. Sorry what? Sorry what? I've never had one of these before. No, I mean, I don't even know what it is. It's a mosquito net. Oh, you can drop it down. Of course you can. I didn't know you could do that. You can leave the doors open. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Wow. It's like a little tent. Is that a foot pillow? Yeah. Is, this is the there room? more? Is this a cupboard? What's in here? This this is just a cupboard to be fair. You thought it was just a bedroom, did you? Shut up, what? <gasps> and then that's the that's the back garden for their room, so we can have a little tea party together. Oh, I see that's not the bit to get excited about in fairness. It's very it's romantic. A fucking bar. Is it from here, is it? Strong. Look at that pressure. Your reactions are hilarious. <laughs> Satisfied? Uh it beats the hell out of sh in the bushes. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> In the next episode, my piss turns red, we run with a new gang of stompers, and I face the threat of a rest day once again. <laughs>